Introduction The term agriculture is derived from the Latin word agar, pieces of land, and culture, ploughing or tilling. The term agriculture, however, is not restricted to growing of crops, rather it includes rearing of animals also. Some scholars include animal husbandry, forestry, horticulture, fishing, sericulture and poultry also in agriculture. Agriculture is one of the oldest activities of mankind. Agriculture is the most basic resource as it provides food, clothing and shelter to mankind. Since time immemorial, the spread of agriculture in various parts of the world recorded progress from the use of most primitive implements to the most modern implements of today. Most of the farming operations are highly mechanized. The dawn of agriculture may be traced back to Neolithic period. The early river valley civilizations that arose on the banks of rivers in river valleys and their deltas were based on agriculture only. Later, agriculture expanded in drier and colder regions. The map on the previous page shows the distribution of arable land in the world. You will notice that cultivation of crops is possible only in limited areas. Soil, temperature and rainfall are some of the important physical controls. Every crop has certain basic requirements of temperature, moisture and nutrients. While some crops are suitable for tropical climate, others may be grown only in subtropical and temperate regions. Methods of cultivation have improved a lot since ancient times. The early farmers used only simple tools like hoes and sickles. Gradually, ox-drawn ploughs were introduced. In developed countries today, all farm operations have been mechanized. Tractors with multiple attachments perform different functions. It has reduced the number of people occupied in agricultural work. Large number of people in these countries are engaged in other occupations like industries and services. Types of Agriculture Based on agricultural practices, crops grown, the types of livestock kept and the proportion of output retained by the farmer, agriculture may be broadly divided into two categories. 1. Subsistence Agriculture 2. Commercial Agriculture Subsistence Farming This type of agriculture is practiced mainly to meet the requirements of the local community. Most of the products are grown and consumed within the area where they are produced. It includes mainly four types of agricultural practices. A. Nomadic herding B. Shifting farming C. Intensive farming D. Extensive farming Nomadic herding this is practiced by those people who rear cattle, sheep, goats, camels and yak. These animals are dependent on natural vegetation in the area. Herders move with their animals from one place to another in search of fodder. Shifting farming It is a simple and primitive method of farming. This type of farming is practiced by clearing a patch of forest or by burning bushes. A patch of land is cleared and then cultivated. It is also known as slash and burn agriculture. When the crops are ready, the people join together, harvest and store for consumption. These people do not lead a settled life. The land is prepared for cultivation by felling trees and burning them. Crops like maize and cassava are grown using simple tools. The produced is consumed by the community. People move from one area to another when soil loses its fertility. Intensive farming In this method of farming, even from a small piece of land, farmers get a very high yield by using good quality seeds, ample fertilizers, ensuring regular water supply and applying more laborers. Besides, 
more than one crop is taken from the same piece of land because of fertile soil and good climate. It is prevalent mostly in the monsoon regions of South, Southeast and East Asia. Rice is the main crop. Besides wheat, maize, pulses and oil seeds are also grown. A variety of crops are usually grown by a farmer because most of the produce is for their own consumption. Extensive farming The main purpose of this kind of agriculture is to sell the produce in the market. Therefore, one particular crop suitable for the region is selected by the farmer. It is called crop specialization. This type of agriculture has two main forms.